to 1 John chapter 2 in your Bible. Uh, 1 John chapter uh, chapter 2. And, and look at verse number 1 and 2. This will be my main point. My little, cho my little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if uh, any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, and he is the propitiation for, for our sins. And not for us only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Let's play. Dear God, thank you for allowing me to preach in front of the people. And uh, what's this pre preaching tonight? What I have to say in in Christ Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 So what? I, so thank you for having me here. What I'm going to preach tonight is called Calvinism debunked. Yeah. 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 So, uh, what is Calvinism? Calvinism is uh, it's a teaching based teachings of John Calvin. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so let's face it and. Uh, to know what Calvinism is, we uh, need to understand their favorite word is called the tulip. Yeah. Stands for uh, total depravity, unconditional election, limited atonement, irresistible grace, and perseverance of the saints. And I'll debunk, debunk those. Total depravity. It, it states that uh, everyone who's not saved are reprobates. Now, uh, how could you? But if you look at Romans 1, you don't have to turn there, but uh, it says how a person becomes a reprobate is, yeah. is yeah. when right. when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Right. So, right. so how could someone be a reprobate if uh, if they didn't know God to begin with? Amen. That's right. So, uh, yeah, also uh, a seared conscience cannot be uh, righted. So, uh, if we, if, if Calvinism teaches that we are all once reprobates, then how could we even uh, believe God? Exactly. Amen. And, uh, all the uh, all the recompense for their error it doesn't simply go away. So uh, total depravity, I just de 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 debunked it. And un <laughs> unconditional election contradicts the Bible. Yeah. John 3, 16, you don't have to turn there. We all know what it is. <laughs> Whosoever believe it. So if there's the conditions. Amen. I'm yeah. a programmer myself. Amen. So uh, if if you believe, then you have believe in Jesus Christ, then you have salvation. That's right. So that's the condition. That's right. So, so limited atonement, which states that only the chosen ones or the elect can get saved. So that's be, because of Calvinist believes that there's no soul winning in the Calvinist. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. So it says it, uh, it says it, it also contradicts John chapter 2, verse 1, and also John 3, 16. It's like as if God sees everyone side by side and points at heaven, hell, heaven, hell, and so on. Right. Irresistible Ridiculous. grace, also known as sovereign grace. Well, it's, well, it's, says that if grace draws you, you can't resist it. But people do resist grace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Perseverance of the saints, that's, that's the favorite tool to defend Calvinism. Well, because uh, it's trying to say that one state is always saved it. Perseverance of the saints, but that's not the case. It means like you have to persevere till the end or you lose salvation. So, uh, so. Yeah, it's easily used to defend Calvinism, but it's not its not the case. I believe it's a work salvation. That's right. And uh, in closing, uh, Calvinism is um, unbiblical. And, uh, That's right. Yeah. And, yeah. and thank you for uh, allowing me to preach. And, uh, you, and my Calvinist friends, if you're listening to this, uh, I believe you need to get right with God. Yeah. 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 Amen, brother. And we hope they do. 
All right, the next name called is Xavier Araujo. Xavier 